hello everyone how's it going welcome back to the channel today we are taking on an exciting ui challenge it's a real estate mobile app design by zakaria buhari which i found on dribble this tutorial is going to be in three parts risk where we start from the onboarding page the home page and also the detail page so if you are interested and happy to see this build consider subscribing like and share the video as well so with that said let's jump right in so within the main page of the app the home of my app is rendering the onboarding page and over here, I set the C color to be a hexadecimal value color, which is the dark green, which I provided the same color as the primary color. And also set the test team to be the Google font dot Lato test team, which is coming from the Google font package. So make sure you have that installed. So the onboarding page is rendering a scaffold over here, which is showing the white screen. So this is actual, actually the onboarding page. We start building from the top. And below the build method over here, let's extract the theme from the contest. And for that, I'll be creating a variable and assigning the theme dot of contest. And this will get us the theme. And let's set the background color of the scaffold to be colors dot white. And saving the changes. There you go. So the body of the scaffold is going to render a safe area that basically prevents it from being at a notch area. And the chart of this scaffold area is going to be a column widget. So let's set the cross axis alignment of this column to be cross axis alignment dot start. And I'll position it with it at the very start. So within the column, we're going to have another column with the children as well, with a row widget as well, where you're going to place the icon and also the test. So within the row widget, it's also going to contain the children. And the first chart of it is going to be the circle avatar with the radius of 15. You know, so let's provide it a background color. So the background color, we are going to assess that from the team. That's primary color. So you can make use of the team variable. Then we can assess the primary color. So make sure we have, we don't have the cons over there. All right, so let's get rid of the cons in here. So it's going to be team dot primary color, saving the changes. And the chart of this circle avatar is going to be an icon, right? So we pass in the icon widget and the icon is going to be the home icon. So it's going to be icon into brackets, icons.home, just like this. So once you have that, you can save the changes. There you go, as you can see over there. So next to the icon is going to be a row. That's the main reason we place these two widgets in a row format. So let's provide a color to this icon. The color is going to be colors.white. So next to the icon, let's provide a spacing right so using the size of box and give it a width of eight. Below that, we are going to have a test and this will place next to the icon, right? So the test is going to be rendering a test of rare home as per the design. And let's proceed to start this test as well. So with the style attribute, we can assess the theme variable so we're going to assess the team variable, which we have the test team on it, right? So team dot test team dot title large. Then we copy it and make some modifications over here. So we want the title large of the test team, and we set a color to be theme dot primary color. And also we set a font weight to be bold, right? So let's set a font weight over here to be font weight dot bold. So once we have that, we can save the changes and there we go, we can see. Yeah, so let's provide some spacing around it, right? And for that, let's wrap the column in a padding widget. And this padding is going to affect all size, a value of 24. There we go. So when you compare this, the design next, so the upper is going to be the image right so before we do that let's first of all provide some enough spacing over here so below the row i'm going to have a size box for spacing right and this is going to be a vertical spacing right so in here i'll pass in a height of 24 and saving the changes so let's proceed to 
render the image over here i already have my image my asset folder right i'll link the github description so i'm going to have an expander widget right and the chart of this expander widget is going to be the image so we are assessing the image from our asset folder then we pass in the path and the path of this image is asset slash then the name of the image is going to be the onboard.png so once we hit save you can see the image reflects on the screen so with the image let's set a fit to be for boss fit dot cover so we set a fit to be box fit dot cover let's save any changes so in here let's wrap the image with a widget and the widget is going to be the align widget where you pass in the alignment right so the alignment is going to be with the alignment is going to be alignment the center right now position the image wall there we go so below the image we are going to have two test field right and for that it will be placed in a separate column right so we are going to have another column which is going to take in the children and in this children we are going to render a test over here so first of all let's set the cross as this alignment of this column to be cross as this alignment dot start and also in the children we can render the test as you can see on the design right and the test is going to be discover your dream home right so i'll provide a backslash with n and i'll separate the two tests there we go so let's wrap the column in a pattern widget right a pattern of 24 so we can have equal spacing from top to down so this pattern is going to affect all sides a value of 24 there we go so let's start this test right so we can assess our team the test team so team the test team is going to be display display small then we can use the copy with method and change the color of this test right and that's going to be theme dot primary color we also need to set a font weight as well the font weight is going to be font weight dot bold so once you're saving the changes you can see it reflects as expected right so next to this test we are going to have enough spacing so for that we use size the box with a height of eight so next to that we are going to have similar tests as well with different writings over here so in here i'll copy and repeat the same test and changing the test over here so the test is going to be find the perfect property with ease explore compare and connect right so i'll be typing in the test as you can see on the design as well so the styling of this test is not going to be it's going to be display um body large right so team dot test team dot body large then we can get rid of the copyright right this is enough how cool is that you can see we are getting there so the last widget to render is the elevated button and for that we'll be placing it below a test so we provide enough space over here give it a height of 30 and below that we render a size box over here set the width of the size box to be double dot infinity and i'll take the available width and also the chart of the size box is going to render the elevator button which comes with on press and also the chart in here so with the chart in here is going to be a test widget and the test is going to be get started as you can see so the test in here is going to be get started once you have that you can provide your cons value so let's proceed to start this test right so we can assess our team 
the testing so this is going to be um the title medium then we can copy it and changing the color over here so the color of this test is going to be theme dot primary color then we're bolding this test as well so we can also pass in a font weight the font weight is going to be font weight dot 500 saving the changes there we go we actually want a white color right so with this we are set the theme dot color scheme dot on primary now adjust accordingly so with the styling of the button so with the style attribute you can provide it the elevated button to start from where you can pass in the background color over here and that's going to be the theme that's primary color that's the dark green color and also give it some enough padding around it right so with the padding is going to affect it symmetrical right we pass in a vertical value of 16. so once we have that you can save the changes and there you go how cool is this so let's give this button a shape right and the shape is going to be the stadium butter shape And that's pretty much it that's the onboarding page as you can see that's similar so let's add functionality to the button over here that when this button is pressed we'll be navigated to the next page right and for that we'll be using the navigator that push that takes in the context and also the material page route so with the material page route it takes in the builder and the builder is a function that takes in the context then we provide the page one to navigate which in our case is going to be the home page so it's not yet created so i'll head over to the screen folder over here and create a new file that's going to be a that file name the file as home define a stateful widget create the widget as a home page return a scaffold in here so make sure you have our material that import so once you have that you can save the changes head over to the onboarding page and we need to import the home page we just rendered in here so we can just import the home page over here there we go and that's basically it so to actually see we have a home page the body of this scaffold we are going to render a center and the chart of this center is going to be a test widget that display home page so when we click on get started button we are going to navigate to the home page as you can see so that's it see in our next tutorial we are going to our next tutorial are going to render the home page and so then stay tuned